All right, welcome back, everybody. She always comes prepared with some wonderful topics. Anastasia Pollock, thanks for being here once again. Happy to be here. Speaking of great topics, asso dis dissociative identity disorder. Yeah. Okay, because it's hard for me to say dissociative. I don't know why. It's a hard word. Yeah. Um, well, all right, let's explain what it is because it's, it's, it's out there and many people confuse it with other things or they think things that aren't true about it. That's so right. Let's, let's define it. Yeah, it's all about destigmatizing. I had the chance to be on Dr. Oz to talk about this, to start destigmatizing what it is, uh, why it develops, and really it's more of a condition than anything else. So this is formerly known as multiple personality disorder. Okay. And there are a lot of things in the media, in movies, in television shows that portray it as this really scary, um, bad thing. Mm -hmm. uh, in reality, about 1% of the population has this. And... That's a fairly good chunk. Really, really is. You think like about one it. in a hundred people. It's a yeah. lot of people. Yeah. And it develops as a result of trauma. This could be medical trauma, it could be abuse, it could be anything that has overwhelmed the nervous system mm -hmm. where the nervous system couldn't take in what was happening and then had to almost like create different memory banks in order to digest and okay. to be able to go on with um with the person's so the, life. The person's compartmentalizing exactly. uh, each and everything and, and then I guess assigning it to a personality, a separate Some, personality? Yeah, so sometimes what happens is different identities develop and this is a childhood condition. So this happens, this starts to happen early in childhood when children experience abuse, neglect, medical trauma, anything that their little nervous systems couldn't take in. And as that child develops his or her personality, these compartmentalized parts can also develop their own identities and personalities. And it's not as dramatic as people may think. It can okay. be very subtle. So is this, is this related to schizophrenia at all? No, schizophrenia is a psychotic disorder and it's a separate thing. Um, okay. That's where people feel like they, they may see things, they may hear things, they have uh, thoughts about how the world is that's not based in reality. Okay, so this is not that. No, uh, this is more about the way the nervous system had to adapt for somebody to survive something that would not be survivable otherwise. Mm -hmm. uh, when a caregiver, when a child is dependent on a caregiver and that caregiver also hurts them, it's really hard for a child to make sense of that. So the easiest thing to do is for the brain to compartmentalize that information into the caregiver hurts me, the caregiver helps me. And then as the child develops their own identity, it only makes sense that sometimes these separate compartmentalized uh, beliefs, feelings, thoughts, and experiences may take on their own identity. I think a lot of people out there might be thinking like, like I am of uh, the movie Sybil. Yeah. With Sally Field. Right. Now, is that fairly accurate? I assume you've seen it. I actually have not okay. seen Sybil, okay. but, um, and so I'm not sure about Sybil, but I've seen some other movies that touch on multiple personalities, multiplicity, dissociative identity, identity disorder, um, and most of the time they're not really that accurate. It's not uh, as dramatic as people may think. Mm. These are people who are functioning. Sure. I, this is my specialty, and all of my clients are incredibly intelligent, high-functioning people just the way who are professionals. This is the way that the nervous system decided this is the best way for us to survive, mm -hmm. is to have different parts of ourselves. Is um, it treat, it's fairly treatable? It's and, extremely and, and treatable. And very, you're able to live with it if that's what you have. A absolutely. You can, it, there are different, different ways to be when you have separate personalities. The first thing is we want everyone working together sure. on the inside. Right. And um, once we have everybody working together, we make decisions and treatment about do we integrate into one or do we just really work together really well for a while and then make those decisions down the road? Right.